Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. Hello, today I'll be showing you how to upgrade an IBM Data Power Gateway appliance. In this video, we will demonstrate six supported steps to complete a major upgrade from firmware version 7207 to 75212 on a physical XI-52 data power gateway appliance. Please note, the same process should be used for applying fixed packs within the same release. Let's get started. Step 1. Verify the prerequisite level for your desired firmware version. This chart displays three columns containing appliance type, desired firmware, and minimum prereq level. First, you want to start by looking at the desired firmware column for the version you would like to upgrade to. Within the same row, align with your correct appliance type and verify that the prereq minimum is within the same release or above. In today's demo, our current version 7.207 is above the prereq minimum, which indicates we can upgrade directly to 7.5212. For releases not shown in this chart that are lower, for example 6.0, we would need to upgrade to the prereq level, which would be 7.0, and from that prereq level to our desired firmware level, which is 7.5.2. Step 2. Understand the file name format and download the correct file from Fix Central. To ensure you download the correct file, it is important to understand the file name format. As shown, the first two letters indicate the device name, such as XI, XG, or IDG, followed by the firmware version, excluding all decimals between the numbers. Following will be a decimal and the name of any license that need to be applied. Lastly will be a decimal and the script type, for example, script 3 for physical devices and script 4 for virtual devices. In today's demo, we will be using XI75212 TIPCO script 3. Let's start by typing the product name in Fix Central and click pop up suggestion IBM Data Power Gateways. A drop down will appear to select the installed version, then select Continue. An identify page will pop up to filter your search, but for this video, we are going to just click Continue. You will then scroll down to select the correct device type and desired firmware version package. After clicking, you will be prompted to sign into your IBM account. The Downloads Options page will appear in which you will click the radio button to download using your browser and click Continue. A View and Accept Terms pop-up will appear and click I Agree. As mentioned previously, we will now find and click our correct file name and save it to your computer. The downloading process will begin and once completed, you may move it to an easy space to locate. Step 3. Quest the appliance to complete all network connections. Quiescing the device gives you the control to gracefully stop network connections and services on the appliance. This step is important as it completes active transactions and changes the services on the device to a down operational state. Start by logging into your data power device. Under the File and Administration section, click System Control. You will now scroll down to the Quiest section, enter a timeout value based on your config setup, and click Quiest. A pop up will appear for you to confirm the action. Click Close when completed. Step 4. Reboot the appliance to free up resources. Rebooting your system is an important step, which allows you to clear memory and temporary space from your device. While still in System Control, scroll to the Shutdown section, select Reboot System from the drop-down, and click Shut Down. Be sure to save any config and confirm the action to reboot successfully. When the device comes back up, please remember to quiesce the appliance again as rebooting disables the quiesce feature. Now we are ready to boot the firmware image file. Step 5. Upload the firmware file to your appliance. The appliance will then reboot. 
Once your device comes back up, log in and go to System Control. As mentioned previously, you will need to quiesce the device again as rebooting automatically unquiesces the device. You will then scroll up to the boot image section and click upload. A pop-up will appear. Click browse and locate the file in your directory, which was downloaded in step one. Overwrite the existing file and click upload. Click continue if the upload was successful. Click the checkbox to accept the terms and agreements and click boot image. A pop-up will appear to confirm the action and the device will automatically restart. This process can sometimes take from 10 to 20 minutes to complete. Step 6. Verify that you have upgraded to the correct desired version. Your device will begin to come back up. As you can see, the new login for the Blueprint console, which was introduced in 7.5. Let's go ahead and log in. Now you can either use the new GUI or you can switch back to the older web GUI. As you can see on the left hand side, it shows firmware XI5275212. We have successfully upgraded the IBM Data Power Gateway appliance. Now that we have successfully upgraded our device, let's go over those six supported steps in summary. Step one, verify the prereq level. Step 2. Understand the file format and download the correct firmware file. Step 3. Quest the appliance. Step 4. Reboot the appliance to free up resources. Step 5. Upload the firmware file and the appliance will reboot automatically. Step 6. Verify that you have upgraded to your desired version. If you still need assistance or run into any unexpected issues, Feel free to contact us at www.ibm.com slash my support. Or feel free to check out our documentation on the IBM Support Knowledge Center, how to upgrade the firmware on an IBM WebSphere Data Power Gateway appliance. I hope this video was informative and thank you so much for watching. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.